Hey, Crazy Willie here today. Today we'll be talking about how to save time and money on Amazon. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to save time and money on Amazon. Yes, you read the title, you know it's coming. So I thought for my Amazon shoppers, I'd show you a cool little plugin that I found for Chrome that tells you what the real deal is. Being in the YouTube business that I'm in, I kind of get emails all the time saying, hey, if you review our product and give it a five star, we'll give it to you for free, which, disclaimer, guys I don't fall for that bullshit. not at all I don't want it okay it's probably garbage if they're giving it to you for free and they want you to rate a five star I'm sorry the way I feel and if you guys watch me if my channel's gonna grow I gotta give you quality products that I really rely on every review you see on here is my true opinion of a product before they send it to me I tell them I'm gonna give an honest review whether you like it or not if you agree to that you can send it to me which in all essence, a lot of people kind of shy away from that. Very few companies will actually send me stuff. And as far as that whole star thing, like rating it on Amazon, I won't play that game. I think that's completely and utterly garbage. You should not get a five star because you gave something for free. With the holiday season coming up upon us and the whole COVID thing, I thought I'd show you this plugin. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you this plugin. We're gonna need to download Chrome and we're gonna need to download a plugin for Chrome. And let me show you this, it's really cool guys. So let's get to it. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download Chrome. Uh, whether you're on Windows or a Mac like me, just download Chrome and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna download that first. I already have Chrome downloaded, so I am going to launch that. All right, so we have Chrome. We can close out this browser now. And we're gonna download a plugin. It's called Fake Spotter. I will leave a link in the description down below. It's free. Get it for free for Chrome. And we're going to download that right here. Fake Spotter, add to Chrome. Boom. Add extension. Boom. There we go. And that's what we want. Okay. Hit continue. Finished. Closed. Now the plugin's in. Now, if we go to Amazon, we're in Amazon. But if we type in something, and like what I've been looking for is filament which there's a lot of fake stuff on filament, you'll notice right away that we get grades here before you didn't get that. So like if I open up this one and we go to Amazon, you could see there's no grades, none at all. But if we go to this window, we get grades now. Now you might be wondering to yourself, well, okay, well, you, you get grades. So let's look at this overture right here. There's 3,564 reviews. Let's see, that says it's a C. So if we click on it, and I know Overture is a really good brand. This pops up over in the corner and it hasn't been analyzed in a while. That's why it's kind of grayed out, but it says that it's about a C as far as the grade and then it gives you the real star rating. So, which is actually the same. So we could actually click reanalyze it and it's good that we do this because not only are we reanalyzing it for ourselves, but we're also reanalyzing it for everybody else. So once we go through this, it's gonna go through all the reviews. It's gonna see which ones are real, which ones are fake. I don't know how it really does it, but it has a really good algorithm and it figures it out. And it does take a little bit of time when you reanalyze a new piece. So we're gonna let that run. Okay, so it came back with a finished analyzation of a B. So it's a B out of all those reviews, there are a couple fake, but it tells you what the actual rating is and it's still the same. So even though there's a couple fake in there, it still has really good reviews. And this is also an approved seller by Fake Spotter. And I can vouch for Overture, guys. That's a great filament. So I, I know, you know, I'm just showing you filament, but you could do this with anything. One of the ones that I thought was a great filament, and it's actually on sale. Let me see if I can find it. This one. I thought this one was great, and I even reviewed it on my channel, and it started off good, but it wasn't so hot. So now, if we look at the star rating, you'd think, wow, this is a great filament, I should buy it. Huh, Fake Spotter gave it a D, and it's been analyzed recently, because I know this, because I'm the one that analyzed it, and it's only a one and a half star. I definitely wouldn't buy this filament, even though I did, and it was okay. It, it kept breaking, it was a disaster, and it 
showed its true colors after it was too late. Another thing that I thought, thought was really interesting, batteries. I needed batteries recently. We're gonna all be buying batteries this holiday season, especially if you have children. Amazon, that's interesting. Are they fakes or is Amazon just not doing good quality control? So it says it's a D, we can't go by just the D, we gotta look at it and it'll tell us the real star rating. It's gonna pop up right here. Yeah, that's not a good star rating, not at all. So maybe Amazon batteries aren't the greatest as we thought they were. Let's see this one. This one's got a B. This one's got an A. That one's got a B. I mean, and it's all different sellers. It's going by the sellers. Who's faking this stuff? So it's a little strange to me that Amazon, with, you know, 100,000 reviews, is that low. I've bought batteries from Amazon before. I didn't think they were that bad, but... Well, that one's a B. And it's funny, I've been finding brands that are better. I actually bought a set of batteries that were cheaper and had better reviews. But the ones I bought were these right here. And I'm gonna give them a try. They're by Anchor. If you look at this, and I just recently reanalyzed this, it's got an A and it's got a four and a half star. So that's some real ratings opposed to this. And it's an approved seller. So this kind of gives you a, a way to look at products for what they really are instead of what we think they are. It's funny how many fake reviewers there are out there today. So you have to be really careful about that. It just was very interesting to me. So if we just go like real quick, we'll just go to the Amazon page. And let's look at some of the stuff. Right away, it goes right over the website. Looks at what I've been looking at. When you see a question mark, that means it doesn't have a rating, hasn't been scanned yet. So this is a lot of stuff that hasn't been scanned yet. So let's let's look at something that maybe you guys would get, like Germex, let's see. It's gotta be rating, it has to be reanalyzed. You know, it might be bull crap, let's see. Wow, that got an F. So you can go through all your products that you're thinking about buying and seeing what the real reviews are on them. So I thought that was really interesting. I mean, seeing all these different products, what their A's and B's and seeing what the actual reviews are on these products. Halloween costumes. Oh, Harley Quinn, you're not an F, are you? Too many fake reviews on that. But you get the idea. So yeah, that was a really big eye opener. You know, I hope this helps you guys because I thought it was really interesting that products that I thought were pretty good or I was thinking about buying, I rethunk after going through this website. And just to let you know, you can also do this on your iPad. It's a little bit of a setup. If this video does well, maybe I'll show you how to do it on an iPad, but we'll see. I just thought this would be really great with the holiday season coming upon us. Easy way to kind of spot those fakes. What brought this all together was that I was reading an article how there's so many fake reviews on Amazon that people are losing faith in the reviewing system and now I see why I, I just said you know what I'm not sponsored by fake spotter or whatever the heck it's called I just saw it and I was like you know what I want to give it a try you know like how much off could they be and it was really an eye-opener and I was like man I gotta share this with my fans I gotta tell them hey look this is a better way to see what the hell is going on here I, I'm curious to see what you guys go through. Download it, try it out. I don't get anything for it. I'm just curious to see how close the reviews are. That's it for me, guys. I hope it helped you. If it did, like, subscribe, show some love this way. And if you want to see more of my videos, ring that bell. So that way you know when the next video is coming out. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. I went through like my old history and, and the stuff that like later on turned out to be crap had bad reviews. It's it's so it's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button's even better. 